welcome back my dear students we will discuss on host and vectors what is host host is an organism which harbors the parasite and provides it with shelter and nourishment it harbors a parasitic a mutualistic or commensalistic relationship the guest typically being provided with nourishment and shelter provided by nourishment and the shelter and what are the non parasitic association of the host it may be mutualistic host may be host in cleaning symbiosis may be commensal host in case of the mutualistic host that is important for relationship such as mycorrhiza a symbiotic association between the fungus and the roots of the vascular host plant the fungus receive carbohydrates the products of its photosynthesis while the plant receives phosphates and nitrogenous compounds acquired by the fungus from the soil in case of the cleaning symbiosis hyoen cleaner rasi with its client that is a eulotel rasi that is a host in cleaning symbiosis and another <coughs> example in case of the commensal host nurser the playing host to commensal sucker fish that is a sucker fish which gain a free ride and which may serve as a cleaner so such as the non parasitic association now usually the host are the two category definitive host and the intermediate host definitive host is also known as primary host or final host when the host in which the parasite becomes sexually mature or in which it undergoes sexual reproduction that is known as primary host whereas the host in which the parasite completes its asexual cycle that is a secondary host in case of the uh, primary host the parasite becomes sexually mature whereas in case of the secondary host the parasite completes its asexual cycle the host that is serves as a temporary but essential environment for completion of parasitic life cycle as per example malarial parasite mosquito is the primary host man becomes the secondary host in case of tenuous holium that's a complete within the two host man being the primary host and the pig are the secondary host now these are the different type of the host paratenic host also known as temporary host or the carrier host that is a host where the parasite remains viable without any further development and as used as a vehicle to reach the definitive host as per example freshwater pond that is a paratenic host of the angaeus tongalus in case of the reservoir host the host which become infected which become infected and serves as a source of infection for other animals as for example balantidium in human intestine also found in pig for reservoir host in china dog serves as a reservoir host of listmania donovan then natural host a host which is naturally infected which is naturally infected with a species of parasite that is a natural host pig is the natural host of the balantidium coli and accidental host it is also known as incidental host also known as dead end host it is the host in which the parasite is not generally found is not usually found but occasionally act as an accidental host as for example man act as an accidental host for echinococcus granulosus what is vector a vector such as the mosquito or flea uh, obviously carry a pathogen externally or internally and vector born zoonotic uh, disease that include limb disease plague west nile virus etc etc the term vector applies to any living organism that carry a disease causing microbe but most commonly the arthropods such as mosquitoes fleas lice and ticks and carry a pathogen externally or internally now the vector is distinguished into mechanical vector and biological vector mechanical vector such as the flies that land on the fecal matter and can pick up the intestinal pathogen such as escherichia coli and sigella uh, species on their legs if the fly then moves to a food then it transport the microorganism to a source that could be consumed in this case the fly serves as a mechanical vector such as a, a such type of the vector just like a cargo they can 
transport the disease from one organism to another organism. They carrying the microbe on its body from one place to another place. That type of the vector is the mechanical vector. Now the biological vector that that is that is obviously it may be uh, arthropods or, or or any kinds of organism where a part of life cycle completed. That's required as a part of parasite's life cycle. An important significance of the biological vector is that the pathogen can multiply to high number within the vector. In case of malaria that is caused by the plasmodium, the mosquito is not only the transmitter of the parasite, they also serves as an essential part of its reproductive cycle, life cycle. That's when parasites completes, it's a part of the life cycles. Maybe sexual cycle, maybe asexual cycle, that that completed or a part of its life cycle in the arthropod. So such type of the vector not only carry, not only act as a vehicle, also, also the pathogen that multiply within the organism. So that type of the vector is a biological vector. Now, disease of the animals, that is a zoonosis. It is a disease of the infection that is common to not only man, also common to other vertebrate. And that naturally transmitted between the host, such as Rhizbaniasis, Achinococcusis, these are the zoonoses. Rocky mountain spotted fever is an example of the zoonosis, and that is a disease that exists primarily in animals other than humans. Diseases such as plague and rabies that can be transmitted to humans, but primarily exist in other animals also. These are the reference books, general parasitology, TC chain. Medical Parasitology, Ekihati, Parasitology, Kedi Chatterjee, and Dictionary of the Parasitology, Peter J. Gosling. Thank you, everybody.